we can call Allah Mr. Us. Allah is the only one God, but He is Mr. Us. Who, if you would like to take a partner, He will take it from us. Hmm. Islam fastest growing in first religion. Islam is the fastest day in religion, my friend. Just to show you, do you see even the 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 football? The football game is a clear proof that Islam is dead. Do, don't you know that this is a major major sin against Islam to play football? Don't you know that? I mean, those guys they are inviting people wearing no hijab, short clothes, drinking beer. Women, they have been with the bikini, uh, they open nightclubs, dancing, music, uh, you know, all of this is against Islam. So, and all the Muslims are so excited because nobody want to follow Muhammad. You see, in one hand, those Muslims, they claim that they are serious about the religion. But in fact, everything they are doing now is the music dancing, songs, everything is against Islam. You know, I did not watch, and I will not watch this stupid uh, uh, FIFA. I believe this is evil gang, mafia. But I saw only one thing in that uh, 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 festival. I saw two women wearing no clothes, jumping on the stage in the middle of the stadium. In the heart of Islamic countries, which is Qatar, which is number one supporters for terrorism in the world. But did you see any sheikh making jihad, Allahu Akbar? Shakira? What the other one, uh, uh, what Shakira and uh, what Lopez Shakira Shakira not a single shake opened his mouth. Dancing, drinking, music. Uh, uh, naked and on the stage nobody it's okay Shakira Shakira let us see maybe we have somebody <clears throat> <laughs> we are calling Abdul to see if he will answer. Hello? Yes, my friend, you are a Muslim? Yes. Okay, you said there is no holes in the Quran? No, no contradiction. Well, I don't know. I don't know if you heard Yasser Qadi. He says there is holes in the narrative. The standard narratives has holes. No, he he was wrong. He was he was talking about the preservation. Oh, so you agree with him? The Quran was not preserved. I'm talking about contradiction. I don't care about preservation. Oh, so you are saying that the Quran does not have contradiction, but have it changed? I don't know if it changed or not. I, I, just, all I know is there's no. It's the only book that has no contradiction. All right. Well, as long as the Quran does not have a contradiction, I want to ask you a very simple question. Uh, there is a verse in the Quran. I will put it for you on the screen. Can you see my my uh, uh, my YouTube? Um, hold on. Is my uh, YouTube page just to be sure to to. Uh, to mute the sound in YouTube so you can hear me only for, please from I see it yeah this verse here in front of us chapter 2 verse number 29 can you explain to me this verse if you don't mind 
Uh, go back to English, please. Okay. I can't read that. If you want, you can open your computer, no problem. Chapter 2, verse number 28, 29, sorry. <clears throat> You see it? Yes. Can What's you read? That? Can you read and tell me what 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 do you understand? He it is who created for you all that is on earth. He rose over towards heaven and made him seven heavens, and he is all knower of everything. Okay, what do you understand from this verse? He made everything. No, this is not. Uh, it says here, which okay, based on, based on this, uh, how the creation started, where where Allah started the creation. Uh, he created uh, it doesn't say who where it started it just said he made heaven isn't it saying that he is he created for you that all in earth I see the word earth there yeah yes yes everything on earth all okay earth. so what is first Allah created the earth or the heaven well, it said then he made heaven, so earth first. Earth first. And remember, you are the one who said there's no contradiction in the Quran, right? I'm, it, it says it can be explained if it's if there is. There's no problem. Explain. Here we go. I'm listening. So he created everything in earth, and then he went to the sky, and then he made them seven sky. Correct? And from that, I mean, that's what it looked like? Huh? That's what it looked like? No, I, I don't. I, I want. I want the answer from you. You are the Muslim, not me. No, I don't want to teach you religion. You teach me. So, is it is it what this verse saying that everything created first in the earth and then he start working in the heaven? Does the, oh, hold on, hold on. Does the Arab does the Arabic say then or does it say I, yeah and yeah in Arabic it says thumma stawa. And that means then. Thumma not only mean then. It mean a while after. There is a Muslim guy. He teach Arabic actually. He tried to convert people to Islam. He have a whole video about Thumma. The whole video. You can go and search with Thumma, how to use Thumma. And you will see okay. that the Thumma is, a, is used only for something not right away happened, but way after, for long, long time. Uh, and this is what Thumma means. So it is him, then he, when he created everything on earth, then Thumma, after that he went up to heaven and he started making them seven heaven so which one allah he finished first based on this chapter verse based based on that if the arabic is correct then he made the everything on earth and then he made the the heaven and the seven heavens. okay wonderful we go to different verse in the quran and we will see how that work uh, Let us see. We go to chapter 79, verse number, you can read if you want for any verse you want, but uh, the topic starts from verse number 27. Can you read for me? Hold on, it, it, uh, it's a little behind. Which verse? Which verse? Chapter 79, verse 27, 28, 29, etc. Okay. Are you more difficult to grade, or is the heaven that he constructed? Okay. What what about that is contradiction? Continue. He raised raised it high. He raised its height and he has equally or ordered it he covers it with darkness and it's i can't see uh scroll down it's night uh, he covered night, with, darkness, he covered with yeah. darkness and it's forenoon he bring out with light and after that he spread the earth and after that he brought water and substance 
and after that he made mountains but the other verse we showed you you agreed that it says that Allah finished everything in the earth then he went to the sky and he made them seven sky in chapter 79 Allah finished everything in the sky he made even the stars he made the day and the night which means sun but, uh, but that, that doesn't say seven heaven maybe he just it says meant... no what it says are you more difficult or it's heaven has constru constructed all the heaven is constructed there's nothing uh, uh, to, 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 to make that set all the heaven and then he raised it high and he equally order it equally the heaven there is seven heavens you know he divide yes. them into seven and then he raised it high and has equally order it and after that and then he made the, the night and the day which mean the stars etc wait wait it doesn't say after until it says uh here the, the night so maybe he was talking about yeah the after night. after he finished in the sky he went to the earth and after that he went to the earth but he could make night and then make earth and then make heaven because it doesn't say after heaven no no it says read carefully okay after that after that what after what after Allah he finished with, with after the sky, night right? okay. after he made night okay after and... he made night when you say day and night not only day and night after yes. he made day and night uh, he, uh, and he made him he, he bring out light which is the Sun right the stars right. Did he make, did he make, uh, could he have made light without the stars, fellow? Maybe he did that. Well, he made light, the darkness and, and forenoon, you know, forenoon. You yes, know what forenoon, yes. right? So the, the, yes. this is this is about our day, forenoon, afternoon, uh, the morning, right? So he made, yeah. he made forenoon, which means uh, 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 one, uh, uh, in, in Arabic we say, duhaha, and uh, he break out the light, he brought out the light, and then after that, Allah start walking in the earth. Let us continue. We are not done. I will show okay. you. I will show you another verse. Hold on. Just to make it more clear, so you will not have any um, question. I've never seen that. But I'm sure there's the explanation. I just I I for sure, I, I, for I can sure come back with the Always there's explanation. explanation. Muslims can explain anything. No problem. Yeah, Here yeah, yeah. That's okay. why it's better. Okay, read for me. Chapter 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 forty one. First number What's the verse? Chapter 41, verse number 9. Say, O Muhammad, do you very barely disbelieve in him who created the earth in two days? And you set up rivals in worship with him. That is the Lord of the element, mankind, the jinn, and all that exist. He placed therein firm mountains from above it and he blessed it and measured there in its sustenance in four days equal but it doesn't say then continue uh, for all those who ask then oh oh now we have a problem now it is so clear so as you see here according to here Allah he made he hang up he said oh he just noticed <laughs> he just noticed that the Quran got busted <laughs> oh <laughs> did you hear him saying oh <laughs> he was saying just a second ago but he didn't he did not say then he did not say then then is coming based on this chapter Allah created everything in the earth in two days 
the earth sorry the earth alone two days in four days other four days everything in the top of the earth then he went to the sky and the sky was a smoke there was nothing and he told the earth and the heaven come willingly which is very stupid and then he made them seven skies and then he created the stars If you go to the previous chapter, chapter 79, as you see here, the last thing Allah, he finished is the stars. And then we adorned the nearest lowest heaven with lamps, stars. This is the last thing he did. In chapter 41. The first thing he did in chapter 41 was creating the earth. The second was creating the mountains. If you go to chapter 79, it is totally the opposite. He created the sky, he lift up the sky, he made the day and the night, and then after that he started walking in the earth, he made it flat. See the translation here is false. The haha does not mean spread, it means flat. Zakir Naik says the haha, brother Thitar, the word the haha coming from the word Duhia, and Duhia mean bull. What a stupid idiot. A Muslim kid many years ago, he made a video to refute me about the, the word daha. So this stupid kid, he's stupid, he said that, and then the Muslim, they copy him, even Zakir Naik. And this is strange that Zakir Naik, he claimed to be a scholar. But he is a, a joker. You will not find one even Muslim Muslim person agree that the word the ha the, the Arabic dictionary is there. Anyway, so after that he spread the earth. After that he brought the the water and the grass, and after that he made the mountains. The last thing he did, the mountains. The second thing he did in the previous chapter, it was the mountain, the first, the earth. And the last thing he did in chapter 41, it was the stars. The last thing he did in chapter 79 is the mountains. And this poor Muslim, Abdul Rafiq, Abid Rafiq, he called me to say, there's no contradiction in the Quran. It's in the front of you. Very simple. You can just read them and write down in order which one first. So in chapter 79, the last thing Allah he did is the mountains. It's in the front of you. And not only, by the way, the Quran claimed that Allah, he placed the mountains in the top of the earth. Which is very funny because mountains are not placed in the top of the earth. <coughs> Do we have any Muhammadan? As you see, the Quran is not only there is a hole in the narrative, it is a holy book. It's the holy Quran. Any Muhammadan? And right away he hang up when he noticed that this is really bad. At least this guy have a decency. I mean, the previous guy from Indonesia, I mean, very decad speaking like a girl, you know, I mean, no, sir, that is the question. You did not answer me. I was disgusted really when I hear him. But this guy, he's speaking like a man, and he was decent. He noticed that the Quran is messed up. He hang up. He saved himself from the embarrassment. And you know, just to show you how they lie, like as you see here, where it says uh, that uh, uh, he, he spread out the earth. He spread what? He spread out the earth. I 
Zakir Naik, he says the, the word Daha Hamina like a ball. If you go to the Islamic scholars, the big ones, the real ones, 79, 30, you will see the following. Do you see how the balls of Zach and Egg, they are made barbecue? We boil them. After that, he spread out the earth. He made it flat. Zachary Naik in his video, he claimed that the word Dahaha, and by the way, Zachary, he don't speak Arabic, which is very funny. And those are the one who speak Arabic very well. What they say? And after that, he spread the earth out and he made it flat. For it flat, for it have been created before the heaven. Do you see it? And here you ask yourself, how Allah created the earth, yet he did not create a space for it. I mean, do you see how stupid this religion? The Muslim, they think, because Islam teach, that the earth and the heaven, they are separated entity. But in reality, we are inside the heaven, inside the space. We are not out of the space. So Muhammad, he taught the Muslims always that the sky is a roof. There's nothing underneath of us except the earth. There's no sky underneath of us. The sky is always up. So uh, uh, the sky is a roof and that is sky in the top of a flat earth. And when Allah, he go, he go up. Why? Because the sky is always up. This is why Muslims, when they pray, they pray in the direction of the Kaaba. But as you know, it's impossible to pray in the direction of the Kaaba if you are a person who lives just a uh, hundred miles away from the Kaaba. The earth is, is not a flat. A person who lives in USA or Australia, in order to face the Kaaba, he has to put his head in the toilet seat. For the Kaaba is in the other side. And not to forget to mention, if you miss in the direction, if you can't claim a direction, one degree, that will be maybe hundreds of miles. You know what I mean? Like, you know, when uh, when people, they build a wall, if you see when they build a wall, they put a line. Like now they use a laser line. They put... Like they put a nail, they they put a, they make a brick here. They have like to put a, let us say. So you want to build a brick, a wall, or block, concrete block. In order not to make your wall funny and even collapse, you have to keep it straight down the point, which means to the ground, and uh, straight uh, forward. So what the builder will do, he will put a line attached to a nail, And he will run the line across the area until where he is going to stop building. He put another nail here. And that will be his guideline because if he miss one half centimeter in every block, he will end by the end of the wall, maybe missing, depending on how long the wall is, he will be uh, uh, missing the like missing the direction by meters or even kilometers depend how long so imagine about a person who is praying from direction overseas you know actually uh, they found that people of indonesia like this guy from indonesia he called me people of indonesia they were praying for 1000 year to somalia not to the kaaba can you believe it
a thousand year and Allah did not send a warner this is 2010 you can search the news Indonesian Muslim turned prayer back to Mecca after 1,000 year One thousand years they are praying to Africa, thinking that this is the direction of the Kaaba. This is the this is the biggest joke of the century. Thousand year, but now thanks to the GBS and thanks to the Western who made those machines, finding the Muslim, they were able to figure it out. Allah could not make them figure it out. Thousand year. Not 10 years, not 20 years, which means since the time they started became Muslims, thousand year pass. 2010, they found themselves praying. All the prayer has gone to the wrong direction. Can you believe it? The word for then can mean simultaneously. No, my friend, it's not up to you. And secondly, it's not even then. Thumma, here we go. You can go right now and search in YouTube. There is a Muslim guy. He teach you Arabic. And the purpose of this Arabic is to convert people to Islam. He explained to you what the meaning of Thumma. Not only Thumma, not then only. It's a while after. So don't tell me in the same time. Let me find you his channel and even the video. Here we go. This is the video. You can go watch it. The, the first meaning of Thumma. Go watch it. This is your Muslim friend. Lean, learn Quranic Arabic. Learn Quranic Arabic. Don't play those games with me. We got you busted all the way. It doesn't work. The meaning of particle thumma, and this is the, exactly the word used in the Quran. And remember, this guy is teaching you the Quran Arabic. So he's reading it from the Quran. Go watch it and laugh at your God. It's not only Thumma. Mean after. But after long, after a while. Read carefully. Thumma, guys, read carefully. This is not my words. Is a conjunction that usually indicate order and a extensive period of time. Do you see it? Now the Muslim, they will go and tell the guy, please delete your video, brother. Your video get Allah busted. Ah, uh, now we found that it says usually. Uh, no, my friend, uh, usually, because this is what it is usually. There's no other way. And actually, he showed you the three ways this the word can be used. All of them, they are saying the same. Watch, go watch the whole video. Try to find a solution. Go. When, when it says fa, it means short period. When you say thumma, it means long period. No, thumma does not mean five minute, ten minute, one hour, etc. No, it means long, long time. Now we can open a dictionary. 
we can open the interpretation. <laughs> I mean, whatever you want, we can go. Can we? Who want to call me and we will open the interpretation? I mean, even your, your stupid translation, sorry, even, even uh, your stupid translation is giving you out, you know, you get busted. And we can open any interpretation you want. Try something better. Or we can open the dictionary, whatever you want. Chapter 41, verse number 11. Very easy. Hmm, read it. <laughs> you know, the funny is that all Muslim scholars suddenly they do not speak good Arabic. Those are the real scholars. This is why their names are in the official government website. Not those guys from YouTube, Mumu and Dudu and Susu. This is Tafsir al Jalalain. Then he turned to heaven and it was a smoke. It doesn't say that CP. Tafsir al Jalalain. What about the cousin of Muhammad ibn Abbas? What about Ibn Kathir? What about Al Qurtubi, Al Tabari? I mean, whatever you want, we go. Same. Then he turned to heaven. Then he turned to the creation of the heaven. Read it. So all the Muhammadan sheikhs in the world, they do not know what the word Thumma mean. But those who they are in the chat, they can tell you what Thumma mean. Anyway, thank God you are not calling me, especially if you are the same guy who called me and he speak like a man. And you're not answering my question. I got you busted. I got you busted, busted. You know, there's something funny in the Quran. The Quran speak about how to punish homosexual. And the punishment for homosexual in the Quran is one of the most funny ever punishment. If there is somebody a homosexual, according to Islam, you spank him. How you spank them? Beat them by sandals. When two of your men do the Amr, the action of loot, uh, homosexuality intercourse, punish them both with insult and beat them with sandals. Man, oh man. Well, again, he will like it. He will get excited. Beat him with sandals. If you remember the story, you can read it in the in Shia Pand website. Uh, there's a guy, uh, he's a homosexual. Uh, he heard one of the uh, companion of the Prophet saying uh, after the death of Omar, Omar uh, sorry, uh, Uthman was killed. So one of the Muslim Mujahideen, he was screaming saying, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. If I know who is the one who killed Uthman, I will F him, excuse my language. I swear by Allah, I will F him. The guy who is a gay, he heard that. He said, you swear? He said, I swear by Allah, I will F him. Then the gay, he said, I am the one who killed Uthman. So the Muslim, other Muslim, the Mujahid, 
He made him bend uh, over and he started doing boom boom to him. And then the gay from underneath the other Muslim, he starts saying, if I know that this is the punishment of killing Uthman, I would love to kill Uthman every day. He would love to kill Uthman every day. Every day. If he knew. This is the punishment of King Uthman? Really? Are you serious? If I know that this is the punishment of King Uthman. <laughs> There's a website made by the Shia. They have a collection of hadith from each other. You know, they are exposing each other. Let me see if I can find it you in English. <laughs> I'm coughing today, I apologize. I hope my coughing is not coming in your head. Uh, let us see. <clears throat> I found the website, but I'm trying to find where exactly it is. Let me see. It's called Shia Pan. I can find the one in Arabic, but in English would be better for you. Man, this page. Well, maybe you can find it by yourself then. Uh, oh, not this page. Hold on. <clears throat> this is the same website, yeah, but the same page. It is C. We have to look for the page. It's called Sunni Morality. See how much we work to try to find your things. Yeah, this is the page. You should be there as I remember. Maybe you guys, you can look for it. Just save me time from looking. I just find you the page. Go there. This page full of stories translated by the Muslim Shia. And you will have the reference uh, in the page. Uh, So try to find it. Let's uh, see. I hope it's in that page. But this is a very good page, actually, the one I gave you. 
uh, it have full of reference you know Shia exposing Sunni and supposedly refuting them ah here we go yeah here we go I just found it if you go in the same page uh, this is the one I don't know if this is the one. 20 example of Sunni morality Yazid ibn Muawiyah was in, in homosexual. Maybe here at the see. Okay. Uh, yeah, here they, they are just talking about the caliphate. They were homosexual too. Uh, other than kafir, of course, Muslims, Yazid. Yeah, you need, you know, we need to read. It's full of funny stories anyway. Do we have any Mohammedan? Uh, avoid insulting mother of people, otherwise I will block you. Anyone who start, you know, you want to refute the person, refute him. You want to be stupid, we will block you. Any Muhammadan? Nobody? Yeah, in those pages you will find tons of collection of stupid things, you know, I mean, uh, ugly stuff. But remember, those are Shia, but they are not lying. They are just quoting to you, translating what is in the Muslim Sunni books. Um... Uh, Big uh, Sharma saying, why in Islam they, uh, they like to say, I believe in one God? Well, you know, I asked him about this guy who called me. Is one mean a number? He said, yes. Well, if one is a number, that's mean there's two. And there's zero. You know, if number, because one would not exist. If, if you know, when we say number, uh, one is not unique. It's not. The second you start treating God as a number, and the second you say one, that means there is two. He, because he's one what? If you say he is one God as a as a number, well, that means we are counting, and this is number one. That means there's number two. There's possible number three. Same time, if God is one or ten or seven or a billion, if God, he, if, if there is many God, there is many gods. Who care? The question is, is your God is exist? If there is somebody he believes there is million God and they are exist, then he's right. And we are wrong. <laughs> so their logic is very funny. Allah created fingerprint. Well, you read my books, my friend, you will find all those are answered and get busted. The Quran never mentioned the fingerprint. The Quran says Allah will put the fingertips together, which is the bones. They lie. They lie about everything. Never believe a Muslim explain his book. As you see, a Muslim who called me today, I asked him a very simple question. He refused even to answer. 
Why? Because he knew he would be in trouble. Uh, the Quran never mentioned those things. The Muslims they claim. And here we got them busted. <clears throat> Any Mohammedan? If I search now in Google about the Muslim claim Quran fingerprint, <clears throat> you will see how silly and how stupid and how easy it is to, to get them busted. 75 4 Quran verse number 75 and look the Muslim they have uh, they have uh, pictures and graphic etc but even their own stupid graphic says fingertips I mean how stupid you are this is about a person who died not fingerprint Allah will collect his fingertips together the bones those are the small bones. So Muhammad is saying, even those small bones, Allah will be able to connect them together. You see those last bones in your fingers? You know? Allah will connect them together. The Muslim, they make it fingerprint. But anyway, it's not their fault, by the way. The fault of people. Why you don't go and read it? Do you see it? This is about the judgment day. We will be able to put together in perfect order the tips of his fingers. So how that became fingerprint to you? Why? How, how you even let the Muslims fool you? Don't we have a brain? Can't we read? How the fingertips became the fingerprint? Uh, any Muhammadan? And you can open the interpretation. There we go. This is chapter 75, verse number 4. Uh, 75. Don't make, you know, don't be, don't be silly kid. Whatever Muslim they say, you know that there is something fishy. Indeed, we shall assemble them. Assemble what? The bones. What the fingerprint? Read it. We are able, in addition to assemble them, reshape even his fingers to say to restore their bones just as they did been despite their smallest so how much more so we are able to restore the longer ones where is the there's not even about the skin this is about bones but you know the muslim they knew that uh, the majority of people are stupid and silly we are in the time where people they spend time watching football but nobody have time to read how many of you today was watching the football? I know you will be upset if I say how many idiots of you you know waste his time today. Let us be honest. How many idiot of you waste waste his time watching the devil game? You know, those who play they make millions. What do you make? What do you make exactly? What is the, what this is for you? 
Honestly, I don't understand. And you know, today you are happy, tomorrow you are sad. Here we go, you got busted. Tomorrow, today, takbir, you know, tomorrow they are lost. Hey, we lost. You see, see the faces, see them, I mean, stupid people, human. I mean, this is the, the clear, clear proof that a human being is a donkey. Human being is a stupid. You waste your time, you get nothing from it. Go walk. Go play sport yourself. Those are making millions. This is what they are playing. Do you know how much each one of them will make? Even when they lose. Because of the stupid ones of us who pay money to watch it. This is my belief. The only one who watched those games is somebody, he want to kill his time and he want to kill himself. He have nothing to do in life. He get excited for nothing, he gets sad for nothing. What you get from it? Nothing. Nothing. And then they say to you, the team of this country and the team of, but then most of them, they don't even have a team of their country. Did you see, I, like in the other day, I was talking about the French team. It turned to be, I thought they are African team. It turned to be, this is a French team. There is eight out of, I don't know, uh, how many they play the game? 12, 13, I don't know. Uh, most of them, they are African. So what is the French team? Team, one from Senegal, one from Morocco, one from Egypt, one from Brazil, one from Uruguay, one, what the heck? The Hindu had the truth. Yeah, my friend, I believe the Hindus had the truth. I agree with you. This is why they built the temple for the rats. I think the first god was a rat. Yeah. I mean, you have the truth to the point even you think that rats are God. And you build a temple for them. And you predicted the age of the earth. Did you predict the age of the rats? Why well, even you bring that to yourself? The Hindus is the truth, yeah. 35 million, 35 million gods. I mean, when Sadhguru, he said, we, have, we believe in 35 million gods. Well, the rats alone in this world is maybe trillions. Are you stupid or what? Or maybe only those rats in that temple, they are gods. What about their kids, their cousins? Crazy people. I mean, human being is really weird. Rats. I mean, in, 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 in India, there's people, they are, they are children, they are homeless. And you give milks to the rats. What about you give it to those hungry ones? Why well, you bring that to yourself? Here we go, just sit down as a Hindu. We're not talking about you. No, if you go to India, you will like rats because they are beautiful and they are holy God. If rats are gods, well, that means we have gods more than us. One rat can make a, you know, a thousand rat before he finishes his honeymoon. By the way, do the uh, do honeymoon? They do it in the sewage for free. In the sewage, it's warm, smell good, a lot of food, and uh, they are independent. They don't see CNN, get disgusted. Anyway. <clears throat> Hinduism is not even a religion. It's a collection of philosophy, and it's full of, uh, it's an empty, empty philosophy, you know. Muslims, they speak about how many God they have, but Hindus are really messed up when they speak about God too. You know, like this guy Sadhguru, he, he, he made a video about how we should, uh, 
accept each other, how we should, why we get angry if somebody disagree with us? Why our karma? Why, you know, like, beautiful speech, brother. I made a video about his video, about the same video, showing how stupid what he said. The guy who was making a speech about how to accept each other, he went after not even 15 minutes after I posted my video in YouTube, I received a copyright claim from Sadhguru. Long speech about accepting each other. Why you get angry if somebody criticizes you? Why you get upset if somebody don't like what you say? Why you think everybody would think like you think? Because inside and philosophy. The second I made a video against him, he flagged me. And I understand why. His name is Sad Guru. I mean, Sad. What do you accept? Very sad. <clears throat> There is a there is one of his uh, uh, kids. I mean, one one in the, he make a speech, and one of the one attendant he asked him about his finance and how he run his organization. You should see how he spoke to him. He start making he start bullying the guy. The video is there. He start bullying the guy. Why? Because he asked a question which is obviously in the embarrassment. But this is the guy who kept talking about not to bully each other. He start making fun of the guy, how stupid he is, and why he's asking the question. The guy was asking about how many employees you have and where this money is going and what, etc. Tell him what happened to the wise man but because you hit him and where it hurt. He start bullying the guy, making fun, and everybody start laughing at the poor guy who asked question. So my friend, you don't think that you are better than, than the Mohammedan. You have your own problems. Big deal. Not to forget the casting system where there is people that live like, you know, they are nobody. They are not even considered a human being. And there is higher beings and there are lower beings. And there is ranks. And there is the divided society. And those people cannot marry from those people and those people they cannot touch those people and those people they cannot even enter the house of those people this is against the humanity my friend anyway do we have any muhammadan anyone don't forget if you are not a subscriber to subscribe and if you are a subscriber don't forget to unsubscribe because this is how Allah he give you blessing you cannot explain the accuracy of science in the book so please behave yourself okay big Sharma why you don't call me and tell me the accuracy of science in the Hindu religion do you like? Hmm? Like you used to be a mosquito, you used to be a human and you became a mosquito? Hello? Oh, this is the same kid, he is calling again. Uh, Christian Prince. Uh, let me call him. <laughs> Hello? So did you find the answer for the question I gave you after two hours? Uh, the, the only thing I found was that the word might not mean... Uh, I do not hear then. you. What? what? The only thing I found was that the word might the word for then might mean uh, at the same time as well. What do you mean? I don't understand. What, when Allah, he say us, what do you mean? What? what? When Allah, he say us, what he meant? Oh, you are know. okay. You are a different person. Sorry, I, 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 uh, I, I am confused about you and the Indonesian guy. Oh, so, oh, yeah. Okay. So, what, what you want to say? 
it the the thing the only thing I could find is that the word for then in uh, Arabic might also mean uh, at the same at the same time. But my friend, that's, that's your a, video. That is a big... I read. I watched the video. Okay, and hold it, on. Yeah, the, the video I showed you in the screen, the, 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 the guy, he said that it means the same time? No. Okay, but it's meant. So, so, it so meant, I don't know. It meant long but, after. Secondly, hold on. Do you like me to open the dictionary for you? Oh, okay, okay. Is that okay? Yes, okay. Okay, are you going to accept the dictionary or your dictionary is stupid too? Well, why? Well, I, I, I kind of see, I don't know what to do because I, I, I feel like, it kind of maybe looks like a little bit. I know. I'm just asking you. Like, do you accept, do you think dictionary is taking my side too, or dictionary is dictionary? Dictionary is uh, it's it's a fact. It's a dictionary. Okay. Yeah. Okay. This is the dictionary. Here it says, "ثم حرف عطف يدل على الترتيب مع التراخي في الزمن." Harf out of like you know adding something like in English you say and you know this is same yes 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 but yes. it says ma tarahi fi zaman do you know Arabic? No. Yeah, the period with, between them are not straight. There is like a, a long long distance between them. As an example, they say here, it's here, قوله كقوله تعالى they are even quoting the Quran, أستجد آية seven ثم let us go to أستجد yeah. السجدة وخلق الإنسان من طين. and then you will okay, see so and then you will see you see this is the this is the dictionary I'm just reading the dictionary now this is not in uh, tafsir or this is the dictionary so they are quoting for you chapter seven verse number thirty two they are explaining to you how uh, long the distance between between when you say thumma so he created the human being from a, a, a clay. Do you see it? Yes. All right. And then Thumma, then he made of his spring. Is the of his spring born two seconds after? No. There's a long distance. The woman she needs. Okay. The, okay. the, the woman at least, the woman, at least she needs nine months to give a, give a child, correct? Yes. Do you see Thumma now? So Thumma no. here, Thumma, at least based on the example in the dictionary, they are telling you, it is for a long time after. Thumma, they have offspring. So Adam and Eve are created today. Let us say today is, you know, uh, Sunday. Uh, now it is 12.29 a.m. So today Allah created Adam. Thumma, thumma, he gave him offspring. Okay. How long it take the women to be uh, carrying a child, to have a child? It's going to take at least nine months. Do we agree? Yes. But this is exactly what it says in Arabic. Thumma. Oh. And this is why uh, the the Quran, the, the dictionary, choosing this uh, example. Okay. So, I don't know what to do. Well, this is obviously a contradiction. But 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 and you see this is but, this is the this is the 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 but uh, but but there's contradictions in the Bible too. We can go there if there's a contradiction or not. But let's finish with the with your religion, right? Okay. Okay, and I will give you I will give you the link. Uh, so you can open it yourself and you can take your time. You know, just as your Islamic website, you yes, see your please. Islamic link. I will post it in the chat. Uh, you can just copy it. I made I made a short link because the link is long, so long. Okay. And you can go down where it says, as I showed you in the screen, uh, uh, here, like you you passed the the the, because there is many other words they are the same. They are different word like thumma and thumma. So there are different word here thumma. This is the one we are talking about, All right? So it says yeah. here, thumma adat harfu adat. Is, is, is Thumma used in the Quran and any other verses? Yeah, this is the same Thumma. The other one are oh, not the same. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. yeah. Oh. This, this is why they are quoting. They are quoting for you. You see, the dictionary is quoting chapter thirty-two, verse number seven and eight, to explain to us that Thumma is used for order, but with the exception of there's a period between them, long period. This is why it says. 
حرف وعطف يدل على الترتيب مع التراخي في الزمن which mean there is a it's a loose period loose long like let me use google translation to translate hold on uh, translate with google just... okay i get that i get that i get that yeah so this is the dictionary here we go so it, it consists letter indicating order with laxity in time i don't know the translation i don't know what laxity mean but this is what i understand in arabic laxity in time what laxity mean laxity yeah it should be it should be meant like a uh, long like uh, the time is loose long time between I've never them. heard laxity long period between them and they are saying to you this is what it's meant as an example the almighty says and as you see those are muslims this is why they're saying the almighty said as sajda chapter uh, uh, chapter 32 verse number seven and nine when he began the creation of the man from a clay he made of uh, of his uh, offspring and this is how thumma is used okay and, okay so hmm. but i believe in god but i don't but there's contradictions in both books so how could i my friend there is no contradiction in our book uh, the muslim they, they say things we love uh like they say but, to you, uh, but uh, it says uh, in uh, Deuteronomy, it says, uh, "Cursed be that lies with his sister." Mm. But um, or the or the daughter of his father. But didn't Abraham uh, marry his father's daughter? But this is not his sister, no. But who, I thought who, who, it was who, who, and, no, uh, my friend, my friend. Uh, your prophet, let me answer answer you. Your prophet, he said that Abraham he he lied. He lied when he went uh, 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 that, to the king. The king he asked him who is this woman. Abraham he lied, and he said this is my sister. He lied. He lied. Yeah. Where does don't it say you that? don't you lie? But Abraham didn't lie. Yeah, Abraham did lie, and your prophet says that too. Uh, Where did he say that? Yeah, okay, give me a second. Wait, but I'm not. I'm not talking about the Quran. I'm yeah, talking about the Bible. I'm giving you the answer. No problem. Uh, here we go. Abraham he lied only three lies. Uh, let us see. Where is the hadith? Hmm. Here we go. Let me wait for you on the screen. Oh, give me a second. <laughs> you see my screen? Yes. All right. Here we go. This is your prophet, and this is Al-Bukhari. You know Al-Bukhari is very strong, correct? Yes, Sahih. All right. Can you read for me, please? Uh, it's still loading. <coughs> Sorry. Okay. Yeah, well, but I'm talking about your Bible, not, not Our friend, the Quran. I'm asking you, I'm asking you. Do you, does it say in the front of you that Abraham he lie in three cases? Yes. Okay. Did he lie about his sister that she is his, not his wife? Twice for the sake of Allah. And uh, yes, yes. The you, third, the, well, yes. How far you did read? Uh, the third was well, Abraham and Sarah, his wife, were going on journey. Journey. They passed by the territory of the tyrant. Someone to the tyrant, this man, Abraham, is accompanied by a very charming lady. And then I can't read anymore. Yeah. Okay, what here it says, when they ask him, he said, this is my sister. Abraham said, she is my sister. Okay. Okay. So now if I say, uh, somebody asked me, I'm working with my wife. He said, this is your wife. I say, no, this is my sister. Okay, but why would I why would I go to to Sahih Bukhari if I'm trying to talk no, about but the Bible? I, I always I try, you see, if I showed the 
if I show you from my book and I explain to you alone, you will say, well, this is weird. Abraham, he lied. So I just gave you the answer. He lied. Okay. <laughs> you yeah. know, I mean, I, I just make, I just told you, but now I'm supporting my statement. But does Abraham lie in the Bible? Yeah, he, he, you know, every, the Bible says every human being is a sinner, my friend. Abraham is no different. The Bible never prays any man. There is only one person in the Bible. He did not commit sin. That is Jesus. So All men, Abraham, the Bible, did not, did, Abraham, Abraham doesn't did not, matter. Abraham is a sinner. David is a sinner. Moses is a sinner. I am a sinner. You yes, are yes, a sinner. But you miss, the, con the contradiction is that in Deuteronomy, it says that. Uh, my friend, which whoever, one, which law came before to say contradiction? Moses or Abraham? Uh, oh, I, I don't remember. I'm not what do you mean very... remember? Who is the father of the Jews? <laughs> so now Abraham, he came after Moses? No, 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 no. no. Yeah, so, okay. Let, okay, let us say, uh, according to you Muslims, Noah, the, the children of Adam, they married their own uh, sisters. Yes. Okay. But there is no law at that time says you cannot marry your sister, oh. right? So you're saying Abraham, the law came on. after. Abraham, he was what? He was a pagan anyway. Yes. Correct? Okay. So the pagan Abraham, God knows how many sin he did when he was a pagan. Even your Quran says that Abraham, when he saw the sun, he said, this is my God. He worshiped the sun. When he saw the moon, he said, this is my God. He worshiped this, uh, the, the moon. When he saw the stars, he said, this is my Lord. And the only one he called it Akbar is the sun. Hada Rabbi. Hada Akbar. Isn't it the Quran says that Allah forgive all sin except the one who do commit shirk? Yes, yeah, shirk. Yeah. So according to the Quran, uh, Abraham should not go to heaven because... He committed but, but what but um in um james it says that um god uh doesn't tempt anyone but in genesis it said that god tempted abraham you see always when you read something you you know you like you open a website and you say oh here it says this here it says that but if you start yes. reading the whole chapter you will see this is not what it's meant you know when i say uh, like uh, I, I now uh, let's say I would say I've been tempted by God to help you. <laughs> is that is that a bad sense. thing? So I am being tempted by God but to help you. Isn't tempting bad? No, no, hold on. No, uh, depend in what what tempt to do what. You know, temptation. The word temptation. Uh, like uh, let us say, uh, always everything human being he do is based in the intention. Correct. Yes. If the intention is bad, then it is bad. If the intention is good, then it's good. Okay, okay, but so, I don't, I don't care friend, if it says friend. good or when, bad. When, good when, or God, bad when God, he tempts you as a believer to believe in him, to do jihad, he tempts you by having women. The Muslims, they say this is not a bad temptation. This is a good temptation. Can you, can you pull up um, James 1.13? No, no, focus with me. I want you first. When you fin when we finish with Islam, you say, I am not a Muslim no more. We can go all over the Bible if you wish. Because I want to know now. I don't know what to believe. Am I talking, I'm talking to a Muslim still, or you are out? If you, if you say I'm out of Islam, I will go and answer all your questions. I, I can't say. I don't know what. Then is we have true to because... finish. We want to, you know, just I'm, I'm trying to help you. I don't want to waste my time. So now I show, you, you are the one who called me, and you say yes. there's no contradiction in the Quran. Correct? I, I don't I I don't know what to believe okay listen first of all if there is a contradiction in a book or not what does have to do with being from God or not I have four books translated in many languages have zero contradiction does that mean I'm God but it says in the Quran that there my, my friend, friend I'm just speaking so to you like yeah. this is a, the, the Quran is stupid the Quran is stupid because the Quran could not even stand its own challenge. And we just showed you one of them. There's tons of them. So, but... Tons of them? What? The, no, that's... No. No what? 
You said tons of them. I've only, I've never there is even tons, heard that. There is, there is endless. You know, okay, I would do, I would do, uh, uh, I would, I will, I will play like a nice game with you. Choose for me a chapter. Don't uh, anything. Say to, say to me, open this chapter and show me something bad, something wrong. <laughs> anything, anything. You see, you have one hundred fourteen chapters. You see, I don't want to pick up a chapter to show you. Just okay, choose one. Open uh, uh, chapter one, uh, ten. What do you mean chapter one? There's no ten. Chapter 110. one have seven verses only. One hundred ten. Oh, 110. Okay. I thought you are saying chapter 110. No, no, no. All right. No. Okay. Look at this. When the people, they believe in Islam, when the victory came, is that correct? Hold on, I'm behind. Huh? There's a lag on the YouTube. I got to wait till it comes up. Just listen to me until it's come. Okay. When 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 people they enter Islam. When they enter Islam. Yeah. When the victory oh. came. This is the chapter you choose for me. It's called oh, the, cha yes, yes, yes. the yes, chapter yes. of the victory. Okay. Yes. So yes. people they enter into Islam only in the consequence of Mecca when Muhammad became victorious. So people did not believe in Islam until he become victorious by the sword but look what happened i will go just a few one chapter after just to show you the contradiction and remember mm -hmm. you are the one who said there's no contradiction and you chose for me a chapter this is the chapter of al-kafirun one nine you asked me to read one ten correct yes all right one ten chapter one, one nine, nine it says oh who you believe oh sorry oh who you kuffar the kuffar I worship not that which you worship, nor you will worship that which I worship, and I shall not worship that you are worshiping, nor you will worship that which I worship. So the verse clear, I will not worship what you worship, and you will never worship what I worship. Is that correct? Yes. All right. But this is the opposite of a chapter, the one you choose for me. Chapter 110, when the victory of Allah came, the same exact people all of them became what they worship in the same what he worship. <laughs> How does Allah worship? They became Muslims. It's in the front of you. All the people of Mecca, they become Muslims. When the victory of Allah came, they enter into Islam like waves. But the verse before the chapter before it 109 says you will not worship what i worship nor i will worship you see this is about the future i worship not what you worship nor will you worship that which i worship Who's, who does he say that to the same people though? the people of Quraysh. same people yes this is his people all has a problem with his people I will not worship what you worship and you will not worship what I worship and then the chapter of uh, after it in the same book it says all of them they become Muslims how do we know that's the same people open the open the interpretation read and those people they worship you know in oh. Saudi Arabia my friend in Saudi Arabia when Muhammad yes. became victorious, no, not a single person, not a Muslim, no more. <laughs> so even if he tried to play the game, says, "Oh, this is not the same people." No, he says to the kuffar, "Ayyuh al kafirun." But, but says, listen, my friend, my friend. He said, "Ayyuh al kafirun." He did not even say, "Oh, Uthman, Oh, Ali, Oh, Shakira." It, um, he says, "Oh, not... kuffar, mushrikeen." So all the mushrikeen. I will not worship what you worship, and you will not worship what I worship, and this is for the future. Wasn't, then, isn't the isn't the Quran uh, not uh, in uh, chronological order though? Doesn't isn't matter it... exactly. So what? Still, you can open now the, the open the interpretation, you know, and you will see it's still saying the same. I don't care, you know. And by the way, thank you very much for saying that that the Quran is not in order. That's mean the Quran never was in order because if Allah He sent the book, who is the Muslims?
to say, I will change you. I will replace you. I will change the location of the, of the sentence. This is Tafsir al -Jalali. Nor will I worship in the future what you have worshipped. Verse number five. And you will not worship in the future what I worship. Very simple. If you go to the book of Asbab al Nuzul, are you out of Islam or not yet? I, uh, Read carefully. I have, this is the book of Asbab al Nuzul, says. Uh, this verse was revealed about a group of people of, of, from Quraysh who said to the Prophet, Allah bless him and give him peace. But then all people of Quraysh became Muslims. <laughs> what if it says that after? My friend does, uh, yeah, okay, what, what, hold, hold on. He said that in the beginning of Islam, the victory, oh. the victory verse happened with long after, correct? In the beginning oh, of Islam, Muhammad, he even ran from Quraysh, right? He ran from his from Mecca, correct? Yes. Okay, so now as he's speaking to those people in Quraysh. He said to him, you will not worship what I worship, and I will not worship what you worship. And then after that, in chapter 110, which long after, all of them, they become Muslims. But Muhammad, he predicted, and he made a false prophecy that Allah told him that nor they will worship in the future. You see, I just opened for you Tafsir al Jalalain, <laughs> and it says, in the future, you can read, can't you? Yes. Okay. Does it say future? It does. Okay. It says a future for him and future for them. You will not worship in the future what I worship. And I, and they would never become believers. And remember, is you are the one who chose this chapter. He knows my Maybe friend. he's just talking about those in the area that wouldn't you know, become uh, believers. My friend, uh, what's your name? Abadi, Abad, Abid, Abid. Abid. Okay, are we going to live with maybe? I mean, I'm showing you the interpretation, and you say to me maybe. I'm showing you the book of Asbab al which means the reason for the verse to come down, and you say to me maybe. So, if you want to go by maybe, well, my friend. Well, I'm just saying there might be an explanation for no, it. What no, 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 next? Uh, you, remember, you are the one who chose for me the chapter challenging me to find you. I said to you, there's 114 chapter. Mm -hmm. th th is it me who told you to choose this chapter for me? Yes. I did. I ask you to choose it, this, a specific one, or you told me which one. I, I, you asked me. I asked you, but you are the one who chose it, right? Yeah, I'm not the yes. one who chose 110. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So, isn't it clear for you that I will not worship your religion, I will not worship your God, and you will not worship my God, and this is about the future. You will not. This is not about you don't. You will not. I don't worship it now. He could just be talking to people that didn't, huh? that didn't worship, though. What? No, they there become probably... Muslims, all of them. You know, that, no, uh, not all of them. I'm our friend. Don't waste my time. Sorry, I have to hang up on you. I don't have time for, for silly talk. Either you want to be serious or not. When Muhammad, he entered Mecca, everybody become a Muslim. Zero Muslims, non-Muslims in Saudi and Arabian Peninsula. What do you mean, everyone? Can you give me the contact of the guy you are talking to? I can answer your shirk question. I don't know what this guy, he want to answer me. He's a Muslim, let us see. <laughs> let us see another guy. If you do not answer, I will block you. Just let you know. Okay, let me block you.
yeah, you know, I supposedly like he chose now something, which uh, you know, okay, uh, find me, uh, you know, contradiction. And you know, he thought if he chose a very short verse or chapter, actually, this is funny. I mean, even this is a chapter. Look at this. How in the world is a chapter? You know, the Muslim they say to us, "Do you memorize the Bible?" We memorize the Quran. All your Quran is not even in the size of the index of our book. In fact, the index of our book is maybe three or four times bigger than your book. Can you memorize the Quran? This is Quran? What the heck is this? How in the world this has became a chapter? And look, actually, the chapter which is called al kafirun one of the most funny, stupid chapters ever. I call it the chapter of the Hummus. In order to see how funny this one, just to change one word. Take the word I worship and put the word eat. Oh, who you reject food. I eat not which you eat, nor you eat which I eat. And I will not eat which you have been eating, nor you will eat which I was eating. How stupid is that? You have your food, I have mine. This is God? Oh, kuffar. I eat not what you eat, and nor you eat what I eat, and I will never do eat what you eat because I eat not not eat what you eat, and you will never do eat what I eat because I don't eat what you eat, and you will never eat what I eat, and you have your food and I have mine, hello? That's deep. This is God? What the heck is that? What is the wisdom? What is the logic? Where is the, this is stupid. Oh, you know, oh, you reject face. I don't worship what you worship, and you don't worship what I worship. And by the way, I will not worship what you worship, and you will never worship what I worship because I worship not what you worship, and you will not worship what I worship because I worship what I worship, and you don't worship what I worship. So you know what? Get uh, get out the hell of out of here, and you have your way, and I have mine. Thank you very much. And not only that, later he killed them. How come you have your way? and I have mine, and later you go to, to kill them. As long as they can be whatever flee, because this indicates that you have your way, I have mine. Peace. But he killed them. The chapter after it says even the consequence of, uh, of Mecca. <laughs> this is God talking. I mean, uh, uh, you know, uh, Joe Biden will make better. Like, just a switch. Let us use the, the, the dictionary of Joe Biden. Oh, you reject the thing. I know the thing, you know that, know the thing, and nor you know the thing, but I know the thing. And you know the thing, I know that, know the thing, because you don't know the thing, and I will not do the thing which you want me to do, the thing, for I do not know the thing, and you will not do my thing. You have your thing, I have my thing. Signature, Joe Biden, you know the thing. <clears throat> this is God. And now after we showed him, he starts saying, maybe, maybe they meant this, maybe, I mean, uh, there is no need to waste my time. You want to, you know, I'm just being honest with you and I'm showing you the reference in the front of you. And then you say to me, there's a contradiction in the Bible. We'd laugh at your contradiction. Those contradictions appear only for ignorant. They don't appear for us. Obviously, you are ignorant in your book. You are ignorant in your religion. You are ignorant about who is everything. You know, have you ever heard of a God says, maybe his God will forgive him? Who's talking? Allah. Allah, he say, perhaps, perhaps his God, have you ever heard of God, Mr. Perhaps? Look how many times this guy, he keep using it. Asa, 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 Asa. The whole Quran is Asa. The whole Quran is perhaps.
What a crazy religion. And look at the Muslim translation. There is hope that Allah will forgive. This, this is what the verse is saying. You change the translator. Let's see which one. This is Yusuf Ali. Let us go to the front translator. There's hope, huh? Yeah, there's a hope. One day we'll find a, a, a one Muslim decent. He can translate the Quran without adding falafel. There's hope. Uh -huh. Look, Asa, there's hope. This is what Asa mean in Arabic? Let us see another idiot. Arbery. There's hope, huh? Happily, then God will be burdened. Look, what the heck? Itani Allah. This Allah may will burden them. But who's talking? Allah saying, This Allah may burden them? Maybe? So when you say to me, maybe it means this, maybe it means I love because your God, Allah Himself, He used the word maybe. He's not sure. Is he going to forgive them or not? Why maybe? Even Muhammad, Allah, he said to him, may Allah, maybe, maybe Allah will forgive to you your sin. Maybe. What the heck? Chapter 48, verse number 2. That may Allah forgive your sin. Who is talking Allah? Have you ever heard of such a God? Is he speaking to the mirror? Is he seeing, her, hearing voices? Is he thinking like he is not he? And Allah is not Allah. So Allah, he think he is many Allah. So Allah is speaking to the other Allah, asking the first Allah to forgive the sin of Muhammad. that Allah may forgive your sin in the past and in the future open license for sin but as you see it's not a granted maybe it's a wish Allah is making wish to and the funny the Muslim they say we believe in one God if you believe in one God Allah is talking to who making a wish to who this is a supplication this is a prayer may Allah forgive your sin this is a supplication Allah praying to who? My friend, the guy from uh, the Hindu guy, take a hike, just let me block you. Instead of telling me what to do, my friend, just go make a, a clean street in India for your kids so they can live good. So telling people how to live and how to study. Go. Help your country. Stop following the rich people worshipping them. Do we have any Muhammadan? Anyone? You know, how come Jesus, he said... Go and your sin is forgiven. Hey, Christian, did Jesus pray for forgiveness of people who said, Go and your sin is forgiven? When Jesus did read the mind of the Jews and he said, Which one is easier? To say to him, Carry your bed and walk, or to say, Go and your sin is forgiven? Which one is easier? 
the Jews, they were asking themselves, who is this person for giving sin? But they did not ask himself, how in the world he is asking the guy to carry his bed and walk? I mean, do you see how stupid they are? The guy cannot walk. And the problem now, he said, your sin is forgiven. In the case of Allah, not only Allah cannot forgive sin, Allah is praying to Jesus, asking Jesus to forgive the sin of Muhammad. And I challenge any Muslim, big or small, fat or short or skinny, to call me and tell me Allah talking to who? And the funny, they keep saying to us, we worship one God, black stone kissers. And even the black stone, if we check it out, we will find that the black stone is not exist. The Muslims are kissing wax, the wax worshiper. They bring a guy from Pakistan to do maintenance every few days to the wax. And Allah, he said, this black stone sent by him. This is additional proof that Islam is a lie. Because how Allah, he sent this stone, to be a signature, the right hand of Allah. And then Allah could not preserve his right hand in earth. And now the funny, the Muslim, the poor Muslims, they go and kiss a stone, but there is no stone in the stone. Take a look. All the brown thing you say, you see, this is wax. You see the black dots? This is the black stone. There's nothing left. So how this stone is going to witness in the day of judgment, as Muhammad, he said, is going to have a mouth and tongue and ears, but there is nothing left of it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven little rocks in the size of a booger in the mouth of Abdul. In his nose where is the black stone this is one rock second one third one fourth one five one five six maybe six hello Hello? I don't hear you. <laughs> Even their stone is fake. Hello? I don't hear you, Jihad. Uh, fix your microphone. Go to the audio and check it out. <clears throat> this is the this is the stone of Allah. He sent it from heaven. What happened to the shape the shape of the vagina? Nothing. The vagina is gone. The only thing left is the frame of the vagina. So from far distance, when you see the black stone, you think it's a black stone. There's no stone. They do maintenance to it. This is the guy doing maintenance. Melting the wax. They have to keep adding wax. And they have, and they, and, and they put guards around the black stone so people will not steal those little tiny rocks however Erdogan he stole one and he have one in Turkey little tiny one is in the pocket of Erdogan the vagina of Allah
Anyway, I think we have enough for today. What do you think, guys? Don't we have enough? It's getting late for me. Uh, don't forget, if you don't mind, make a comment. Don't be cheap. I mean, we stay here. I spend hours with you. I break my back. I shout. I scream. People curse me. People call me names. People threat me. And then you, your majesty, you, all of you, you don't even have time, you know, even to make a comment, uh, to give a like, to share a link. I don't know what to say, you know. Maybe you have time to watch the football game. It's more important. Yeah, yeah, it's more important. So today you will be happy, tomorrow you will be sad and you will be crying. Because, you know, human being is so smart. His heart is in a ball. And even that ball is not his. Yeah. You don't have time. I do. I have a lot of time. Thank you. I want to say thank you all for nothing except those who support us and help us by making comments, sharing the links, or even making donations. So I want to say thank you. May the Lord bless you. And those who they are fake in numbers, they don't count. The Lord, he said, from their fruits, you shall know them. The one who have no fruits, the tree who don't have a fruit, will be cut off and throw in hell fire. It will happen. From their fruit, you shall know them. Take care. Christ is Lord. Islam is potato and a bad one. And we prove it every day.